I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. The following is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Making our way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. You are definitely not ready for Oscar. Oh, hold on, Michael. Maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Oscar. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Oscar. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Oscar's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw Women's Title, SmackDown Women's Title, NXT Women's Title, Women's Tag Team Title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say She's already a living legend. She's had rivalries with Lynch and Rousey and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing. And the queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. This matchup's got it all, and everything's legal. All that matters is that you end it in the ring, whether it's by pinfall, submission, or retrieving victory from atop the ladder. Regardless of the winning stipulation, TLC is all about how far you're willing to go to destroy your opponent. In a TLC match, things can take a sadistic turn very quickly. A competitor needs to accept they will endure things that the human body was not intended to withstand. That's why TLC is called WWE's version of Demolition Derby. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Into the ring again. From behind. Back suplex. Design. Saw that one coming. In a TLC match, how important is it to use everything at your disposal? It is absolutely crucial. Don't limit yourself to TLC. If it were me in there, I'd call this match tables, ladders, chairs, stairs, the ring bell, an exposed turnbuckle, and then my buddy's backstage. Uh, yeah, Corey, that's not gonna fit on a poster. Yeah, but it'll win you the match. Think beyond the TLC, and it will pay off immensely. Burying knees into the body. All right, that's it. Hey. Oh, what a chop! And now tying up the leg. 
straight to the knee. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. <laughs> what a fall. That breaker. Looking bad for her here. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Big boots. Oscar's being overwhelmed. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the Empress. Oh, my goodness. Taking it outside the ring now. And now getting the ladder in place on the ring apron. And don't sleep on how dangerous a spot that is for a ladder. <laughs> Holy meet the barricade. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Charlotte maintaining a ruthless attack. That's Flair imposing her will on Asuka. The will of the Queen. You saw it coming. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Or maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot for it? It's none of your business, Cole. You got the head scissors on. Oh, elbow in the face. She's starting to tire a little. There's a reason TLC doesn't stand for tender loving care here in WWE, Cole. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. The Queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Anything Asuka is trying is being suppressed. The Queen is holding the leverage in this match. Wheelbarrow face buster. Man. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Just thrown away. All right, she's back in, ready to go. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. And I saw the offense from Flair. Rare to see Asuka in distress like this. Charlotte Flair with a trademark chopping. Natural selection. Asuka won't come back after that. floor what's she gonna do taking this to the floor uh, oh. uh, wow look at the knees just unloading knees to the body And returning to the rank. Oscar turns it around. Oh, this could be dangerous, guys. Without a doubt. Flair moved at the right time. And now she's getting back into the ring.
Getting that ladder set up nicely. Right in the center of the ring, Michael. And that's the queen sending the empress to the guillotine. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Climbs back inside. Up the ladder she goes. She's got her eyes on the proverbial prize now. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. I don't know. Climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. Oh, it's never too early to try. Uh, who knows what she's going to do to her now. Her guess is as good as mine. We've got some action in the air here. Look out below. On hooks it. She wins the ladder match. Here is your winner, Asuka! The highly afflictive striking ability of Asuka eventually took its toll on the Queen. Certainly a bit of vengeance dished out by Asuka here tonight.